Not much, man. How are you doing? Doing good. Ah. Uh, computer's still booting here. Ah. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. The, those those dating what? sites do that. The dating sites. And the yeah, yeah. Yo, cougars near me, kind of thing. I get them all the time. Most. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. What is it? Moms Punk? that want. Sexy singles. Yep. Yep. Ready to go. Two kilometers away. Yep. So convenient. Ah, man. I know, right? I love the internet. It's great. So easy. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so happy we didn't have that one when I was in, you know, high school. Well, it would have broke my dick probably <laughs> right everything would have been uh it would have been a disaster okay. but uh patrick coming on now hey what's up man not much how are you guys doing doing good yep. we're ro- we're rolling so we're just gonna jump right into this all right yeah sounds and good and then okay cool we're gonna start off like this is our first time yeah <laughs> Because, because it is. I don't know exactly. what you're talking. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, cool. So Jamie's gonna pop on eventually when he's ready. But okay. um, yeah, so Jamie's coming on. He's he works late, then he trains late, and then he okay. eats late. Every everything's just he's just. Late. We need him anyway. I know. <laughs> yeah, he's just a yeah. I don't know. I just like making fun of him. It's fine. Cool. So let's, we're going to do this right. So welcome to Bodybuilders Amateur Hour. Um, we are here with Andy, of course. How you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. Nice to see you. And then we got our special guest that I'm really super excited for. And everybody else in the East Coast area is going to be really excited for too. So welcome, Patrick. How you doing? Hey guys. I'm good. How are you guys? Doing fantastic. Great. I'm really glad that you were able to make it on in short notice. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, we're really excited about this show in particular because you're bringing something special to the East Coast of Canada that um, I guess is very rare here. And um, it's got a, literally a lot of people's hearts pumping and adrenaline going and calves growing. So thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, well, except, well, except for mine, because mine just don't seem to do anything. I don't know. It's a hard muscle to grow, right? <laughs> right. So what I'm talking about is Patrick is bringing a gym, a hardcore bodybuilding gym that is accepting everybody, not just bodybuilders. I want to put that out there, um, but are, but bodybuilders are welcome. Let's say and let's bring it on and so Patrick it'd be great if you want to introduce yourself let us know who you are and what the deal is about this new gym that is coming to the east coast for sure so for you guys that don't know me uh, my name is Patrick Hines born and raised here in Moncton Um, and I'm going to be opening like you said uh, a new gym in Moncton called East Coast Iron Um, and it's definitely going to be a bodybuilder's paradise Um, But like you said, it's not just for bodybuilders, for everyone. If you're an athlete, if you're a a newbie or, you know, a veteran, it's just going to be the place to be. Yeah, that's that's freaking great, man. Um, So before we get going, um, uh, we put up like we usually do Instagram posts and question boxes. And we got quite a few. I got quite a few. And then Patrick also put up some. That um, so, and we seem to got a lot of the same questions. So it's, it kind of worked out well. Um, first off, one of the big main ones is uh, when are you opening? Like, what's people are like itching and like to go there. The pre workout people are they're already going. They're scratching their faces off for this thing. Yeah. So like. Yeah. So <laughs> we're gonna be opening in September. Um, there's not a definite date just yet because. You know, with the renovation starting this summer, a lot could change, a lot could happen uh, from June to August. So that's why I don't want to put out a date just yet. 
but um, hopefully it's going to be the first week or two of September. And and during the summer, I'll, I'll be able to have a good idea. And, and probably in July or August, uh, I'll be able to tell you guys a, a definite answer. Cool. That's really, yeah, that's smart, right? I think you don't want to get uh, everyone's hopes up and then all of a sudden, boom, something happens. You got to push it back a month or two. And yeah. then, so, yeah, I think that's a pretty good call. But putting the teaser out there that it's coming, that's nice. <laughs> good job. Yeah. Um, that's cool. So, like, dude, how, like, what's your background? How did you start it? Why, why, is, why is Patrick opening up a gym? Yeah, so that's probably a, one of the best questions people ask me. Um, so it's kind of a long story, but um, so it started when I was really a young child uh, playing sports. So I, my parents put me into hockey, soccer, basketball, baseball, and uh, I was really a, an active child. And then fast forward, middle school, high school, baseball kind of was my main sport. Um, but I was really skinny and and tall, so I was really like, you know, that the lanky kid. And uh, essentially, I just wanted to hit the ball harder and further in baseball, right? So I said, well, I guess I got to put some muscles on me and hit the gym. So I joined my first gym was at the SEPS at the University of Moncton. Nice. And uh, it was at 13. I, I joined the gym and start putting some pounds on. And uh, quite, quite fast, actually, um, just got mm. got you know muscle on me and stuff like that um so i really fell in love with the gym actually and like it really became a passion of mine um i, I would go on the weekends with my dad and it just i just loved it and so uh, on my free time i would i would just watch videos right uh of people working out and learning new um new uh, exercises or just new equipment how to use them and i just the whole thing about working out just became such a passion of mine. And so while while watching these videos of, of fitness influencers, you know, in the States and in Europe, I, I started to see all these cool gyms with cool equipment that, you know, I've never seen around here, right? Oh, so, yeah. We, we pretty much just have, like, the bare minimum, right? Yeah. Like, it's when you go to the big box gyms around here, it's, yeah, you get what you can, and that's, you're kind of stuck with it. Yeah. So, so after seeing all these cool gyms, I kind of told myself, like, you know, it'd be cool to to have one of these gyms with cool equipment, new equipment, different equipment, um, and a, a cool vibe, again, like you see in the States. Um, mm -hmm. So I told myself, like, yeah, maybe this, this could be a possibility of mine to, to open one of these one day. So uh, in high school, I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do, and they offered this course where essentially they, they'd help you decide what you want to do as a career. Nice. Um, Lucky. So that, yeah. I'm we pretty fortunate. Got nothing like that. <laughs> yeah. So in 12th grade, I, I, I was in that course and, you know, I, I settled on, yeah, I kind of want to open a gym one day and be a personal trainer. So I saw these, this, I started, I thought that I, I might have to uh, go into business, right? Because you want to open a business. I thought maybe I had to have a, a degree or a certificate in business, but I saw this ad um, on Eastern College where essentially it was a 14 months co course where you would learn about health, wellness, and recreation and the business side of of health and, and wellness. And oh, so at the end of the course, you'd get um, certified as a trainer, of course, if you passed. So fast forward, mm -hmm. uh, now we're 2021, we're kind of out of that scene a bit. And my sister had just started her own business uh, as a caregiver. And I was a FedEx oh, delivery really? driver. Yeah, I was a FedEx delivery driver. Um, and one day I was just driving, I can remember like it was yesterday. And I told myself, well, if my sister can open her own business, why can't I? So that was three years ago in March. I, I got home from work and I told my parents, guys, like I want to open a gym. So long story short that's how opening a gym started okay crazy nice. so when you said opening a gym did what were your parents like you're nuts like or like we're like yeah go for it um so they were always supportive but a little skeptical at first the first honestly the first year 
as you can imagine, it's a big risk, a big uh, venture to get yourself in, especially at the time I was 20, 22, so fairly young. Um, but super supportive from the beginning, and um, I always had the, the business sense in me because my parents own a restaurant here in Moncton. They just sold it, but I always had the business mindset from an early age, so they helped me with, okay. with everything uh, business sense. Oh, so you have like... Oh, that's, that's fantastic. So you have like a lot of help in the back end of it too, with your sister and your parents being all business owners. And now you, that is, exactly. that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah. Andy, jump in whenever you like. I know you have well, so tons what of I'm, stuff. What I'm envisioning here is that you have something like Dorian Hamilton's gym and I forget the name of it, but uh, uh, he's in, uh, in Ontario and I, when I see the guys training there, it, it just looks incredible. And I wish we had something around here, you know, that was similar. You could just, I mean, not in St. John, but I'd drive to Moncton anytime to go see, you know, it's not very far. Yeah. Experience that. Yeah. So I think you're referring to uh, pure muscle and fitness in Burlington. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. probably known as Canada. One of Canada's uh, best gyms right now. Yeah. Has a would, reputation for that. Yeah. I would say it's probably for sure. Canada's, best gym uh, by far honestly uh, in terms of equipment vibe mm. like it's a bodybuilder's paradise and honestly that's what i'm trying to bring to the east coast is really like the the mecca of bodybuilding i know fitness effects has done a really good job with that yeah. and uh trying to bring that to new brunswick that'd be awesome well, we have a so... lot of bigger bodybuilders here in new brunswick anyway so they'll probably want to come up here and train <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> that's the goal hey now ouch <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah let's like let's get let's get you on the map i would say like we have um west coast iron and in, in uh vancouver and mm -hmm. pure muscle and fitness let's let's get east coast iron and then we have fx and halifax that's boom right across the country yeah, that would be perfect. like the big perfect yeah road trip oh man just yeah hitting everyone let's let's get that name out there that's what we're we're gonna try to do for you so I was in the gym today at Good Life, and my friend is uh, the guy that I train with. He's training for a bodybuilding contest that's coming up. And we were trying to find a place, you know, that he could do a few poses. And there's not a single place in that gym that's appropriate. Well, are you enough. even allowed? I don't even think you're allowed, to be honest. I, I don't know if it'll get us kicked out if, we, if he pulls his shirt off or not. So wouldn't it be nice to have a like a posing room studio? Yeah, so fortunately, I'm going to have a, a posing room, and God. I've done a lot of research. Yeah. I've gone to a lot of gyms, and honestly, I I hope it's one of the best posing rooms that people have ever seen in terms of lighting, in terms of, well, there's not much to it, but yeah, good lighting and good mirrors, it's, honestly, it's the lighting, that's what yeah. you need for a posing room, yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah, lighting is key. Um, I recommend if you have any thoughts about lighting, hit up O2 Wellness or go even give them a call their lighting in the, on the gym floor is amazing they like they nailed it uh santana anderson yeah uh ifb pro santana we've had him on the podcast here a while back best lighting best lit gym in the, uh, that i've ever been in been in it's great and that's so, in bedford yeah that's in bedford so even give him a call. He uh, he lit the gym purposely for that reason. It wasn't just a coincidence. He had people in and they did a, a bunch of tests and whatnot. He doesn't have a posing room, but the gym itself and the gym floor is is pretty sick. So yeah, I know a lot of people usually like. Let's say for example, Good Life, they'll either take you know pictures right there in the gym or in the bathroom, but. Right. Especially if you're a bodybuilder, you want that special uh, place where you can undress and you know see and practice your poses and do all that with a a good a good space. Yeah, you want to feel comfortable, and like sometimes, unfortunately, some gym bathrooms are the best lighting, but no one wants to haul out a camera in the gym bathroom and like some people, some dudes changing in the background and it just causes a big fight and yeah. or it's just like, sorry, my kitten is all over the place <laughs> but um yeah so like or no one wants to take pictures and you got like a big dong hanging behind you behind your head i don't know actually i don't know why you'd be down that low but 
<laughs> but whatever you're doing <laughs> so like you just don't want that and i'm sure you don't want to send that to your coach anyways so yeah poison room let's do it that's fantastic yep. man yeah i love that <laughs> yeah. that's definitely yeah. something that people are, are happy about no, what about supplements? Great. Are you going to be selling supplements out of this out of this uh, gym? Yeah, so we're going to have uh, basically like a, a mini supplement store uh, in the, at the front where people can either drop by or if they're already at the gym, they can just purchase their supplements and uh, it's kind of a one-stop shop, right? Instead of go, going and driving to the supplement store, you're already there, so might as well pick it up at the gym. Shameless, shameless promotion. If you need any mutant stuff, just let me know. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll hook you up. Perfect. If you want to get, if you want to get mutant out there, we are a Canadian company, so there you go. Stay local. <laughs> mm -hmm. sure. um, yeah, but that's a good Josh's question. What's that? They use Josh's discount code. Yeah, use my discount code. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> um, are you doing supplements like a juice bar and stuff too, or? Yeah. So. This was honestly an idea, an idea that I had even before finding my location. Wherever I was going, I knew I wanted a smoothie bar. Uh, it's just kind of a cool little feature to have that nobody else has. So we're going to have a smoothie bar. Um, we're also going to have a little lounge so you can take your nice. smoothie and drink and just chill uh, after your workout. So, yeah. Uh, I want to tell you, um, back when Andy and I used to train together, we used to have a little thing called the round table and we'd sit and chill after our workout. It wasn't even a lounge. It was just a table in the gym. And that was yeah. some of the best times, man. I have so many good memories just hanging out after a hard workout, sitting there having our shakes. And they don't, there's, they don't do that anymore. There's no space for that anymore. Nope. And like, I, I miss that. And I love that camaraderie that we can all have at the gym, right? When we're training, and on the gym floor, it's like business. We're serious. We get it, we get it done. Then you go and chat and go relax and, you know, go have your social time. And I think sure. that's really important. And it just brings groups of people together. And I think it's wonderful. So that's a great idea. Yeah, well, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I miss that, Andy. I miss, I miss it too. Chats. The round there's table. There's nowhere to even now. You go to a gym and yet there's not even a place to sit down anywhere. No. No, I know. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, one of our questions that we had from, uh, from one of the fans of the show or question, or even fans of your upcoming gym is about, um, tanning and like spa stuff. Are you guys going to be having tanning or whatnot? Um, so it's not really in the plans for the beginning. Um, it's not necessarily in the budget um not a oh priority gosh. i would say so we're not going to have tanning we're not going to have saunas uh, and stuff like that it might happen in the future uh i'm not saying it's never going to happen but yeah it's not one of my priorities to start with okay yeah no fair enough i think like i think that's a good idea you know take the money that you're having and invest it in good equipment before investing it into you know the side hustle like the luxury stuff and I rather have a good piece of leg equipment than, you know, a tanning bed, right? What am I going to use more, right? So exactly. What's going to draw me to the gym more? Not tanning. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Well, I do like a little nice glow every now and then, but that's fine. There's there's injectable things for that. <laughs> there is. <laughs> All right. I don't do it. Ball. I don't do it. I just know about it. That's. Are you gonna have a little bowl of uh, D balls on the way in? Wasn't that uh, was that how it was back in Arnold's day? <laughs> a little. I hope not. <laughs> I honestly don't even know what that is. <laughs> way back in the eighties, you're gonna grab a handful of D balls and do your workout. A little, yep. Yeah. So, see, I love yeah. that part that he doesn't know what that is. That means like this is gonna be a good gym. This is gonna be a clean. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Yeah, clean. Yeah. Business like, it's great. And I, I like the idea of having every meathead wants their own gym, right? They're like, oh, I want it. I could have a gym. I could have the best gym in the city. But when you have someone that is like enthusiastic about fitness and loves training, 
but also has a business background and is smart about about both sides of it, not just one. This is probably where you're going to get the success, right? So yeah, and that's what like I I tell everybody like um, the reason why I think this is going to be successful for me. It's like I'm not necessarily doing this for the money, right? It's kind of a a bonus, but I'm really doing this for the people of my city. Um, I've told this many times, like born and raised here. Uh, I just sincerely want the best gym for my city and that's where like the business side of things like I'm just trying to incorporate as many good ideas as I can and like you said like there's a lot of gym guys that would love to have a gym but it's just unfortunately not for everyone but I'm just yeah I'm fortunate and I'm ready to to make this the best gym possible cool why what do you why do you think that it has taken this long for a gym like yours to show up? That's a good question. Um, I think there's a few factors. I think definitely, the, honestly, like just the guts to do it because it's such mm-hmm. a big risk. Um, I think timing and I think money. Um, I think, you know, there's, there's a lot of people that, that would love to do it, but either didn't have the guts or didn't have the money right. or maybe... They did have the money. That, like I think it, you needed all three, and because like I'm only 25, right? So that there's been gyms that have gone, came and gone that I don't even know about in the city. But I think somebody told me not too long ago, like this is just like the perfect timing. So I think that's one of the reason why uh, that's why yeah. nobody's done it. Right. Like I don't think. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Like. I think we learned from the last time. I don't think there's going to be any more like mass shutdowns and all that bull crap. I think we all learned that it didn't work. It didn't really do much of anything and it just hurt everything. So I think we're pretty good there. Yeah. God, I hope so. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. You should have seen Andy. He was 140 pounds by the time it was there. over. Really? <laughs> <It does. laughs> so, <laughs> I was, yeah, I was bigger than him. That's we saying all, something. All Sure. Yeah, we all we all sh- shrunk away. So, Patrick, have you ever uh, trained anybody? I know you have your training uh, certification. Is that something you ever did? Um, so, when I took the course at Eastern College, I was a trainer at the YMCA. So, it's definitely a different demographic. Right? It was mostly older people. Um, I didn't like really jump into the personal training much after that. Um, Honestly, because if you want to be a personal trainer, especially nowadays, you really got to not not saying that I didn't want to hustle and didn't want to grind, but you really got to push yourself because it's not easy money. You have to you have to push and, you know, sometimes bug people. And that's just not my personality, honestly. Um, So for those reasons, I didn't necessarily pursue personal training. And then I knew that the gym would would follow. So that's one of the reasons yeah I didn't but uh, I do have my certification and that's maybe something that I, if I get more times get more time to do within the years I might back might jump back into it cool nice uh, another question here I'm gonna jump into a couple more if we could get through them all in time uh, do you have like uh, a member cap are there are you signing up people now What's uh, what seems to be the the word on the street with members coming in, and what are you looking to hit? So there's no member cap uh, at the moment. There might be in the future, depending how rapidly we grow. Um, because I, the one thing that people hate at the gym right now is it's always busy, right? That's what everybody says. It's always busy, and so I don't want that for my gym. But I also, you know, need to make a profit. So there's going to be that sweet spot where I have to decide. All right, there there might have to be a, a cap, but for now there's none. Just because, as a new gym, I I do have expectations, but I really don't know. It could go either way, good or bad. So for for now, there's no cap. Um, there's no no place to to register now. But uh, this summer, like July August, we'll we'll be doing a like a. I don't know how you call it, but like signing up just before maybe having deals for people to sign up earlier. So we'll have that this summer. That's great. Yeah, no, that's awesome. 
Yeah, I like I like you're you're seeming to thinking of a lot of different things. Like for example, we have a gym here in Halifax. It's a good life. It's only like two two and a half years old or something, but it is busy. And I drive. I, it's literally like I don't know five minutes away from my work. I drive by that gym every single day on the way home, and I go to a different one because it's crazy right? yeah like i just i just don't enjoy it and if i'm training legs forget about it you're not this the workouts are way too long so i will drive past it look at it give it the finger and then keep going <laughs> and then like just because it's just i don't know it's just something that uh but it's good for them like right? good for the gym good for people that go and but it's just like for people that are a little bit more serious and need their space, it's um, yeah. I I do avoid it myself, and I go to a, a little bit more quieter gym, which is still a good life. But uh, is your gym in a rural area? Is it going to be close to a lot of homes and that sort of thing? Because uh, we have a gym out here. I live in uh, Quispansis. In uh, we have a gym out here, and it's close to a lot of um, houses and that sort of thing. And it's full of young people around 4 p.m. I mean, it gets so packed in there that I, I'm the same way. I just avoid it. I drive all the way. I drive an extra 20 minutes just to go to a gym that's not, you know, super packed full of kids. For sure, yeah. Um, so it is an industrial park. Um, I think there's a lot of CrossFit gyms in industrial parks just because rent is cheaper. Um, but it's going to be close to Riverview. Um, if you're in Riverview, it's going to be like a max five minute drive. If you're in Moncton, nice. it's pro probably going to be anywhere from five to 15 minutes, depending where you live. If you're in Moncton North, five minutes. Uh, anywhere in Moncton is probably 10, 15 minutes because you can just hop on on Wheeler Boulevard and there's no lights. So you're just driving straight through. And of course, if you're in Dieppe, it's a a little longer drive, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. But uh, just to, to hop on back on what you guys said, I think it'll be good for the city because every gym right now is so packed that like there is room for another gym and it'll just separate everyone and just make room for like everyone, like those gym, people that are, that'll come to my gym, you know, it might not necessarily be packed. And then for those gyms that people stay at those gyms, you know, it'll be less packed too. So I think that there's room for, for, for another gym. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Like we're, sure. I'm not, not trying to scare you. I'm not just saying like, don't fill your gym. Cause we you got, you got to pay the, you got to pay the bills. Right. Yeah. So, and you got to create a nice environment too, and have, have the people there to support everything. But yeah. And you said it's located in, what was the address of your gym? People so it's be wondering. 245 Big Boulevard. Um, if you're watching this, you can go on our Instagram, on our highlights. Uh, it's located on the second or third highlight, so you guys can creep the address. All that I'm asking is that you don't go to the building yet because there's a there's already a business there right now. So just okay, fair. You know, for the privacy, just you can go take a drive, but just not enter the building. <laughs> right, there's no gym there. Don't go in. No, exactly. <laughs> Go in there, whoever, to the receptionist. It's, Bring yeah. some dumbbells in. Start training. So here it is here, eh? This is it? Yeah. Cool. So we're looking at, so people are looking in the greater Moncton area. So, yeah, it's pretty close to review there. Nice. So, yeah, so it's by the. It's, is it fairly close to that big traffic circle that that takes you over to Riverview? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. That's just, that's really. Is it on a bus route at all? Or... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Curious. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Hours. Are you guys going to be 24 hours? Someone else asked the, what the deal is with that, or do you know yet? Yeah, so I know a lot of people have been asking if it's going to be 24 hours, and the answer is not to begin with. Um, if I see that the demand is there, I might. You know, it'll depend on a few factors. Of course, the landlord would have to approve. Um, 
but yeah, it's not going to be 24 hours to begin with. Um, as for hours, I do have a, a strong idea of what I want, but I don't want to put it out there just yet because it might change. I might change my mind in a few months. Um, okay. But what I can say is that when I do decide on the hours, you know, it's not set in stone. Like, let's say Monday to Friday, it's 5 to 10. And then I see that it's really busy uh, at night. I can extend it to 11, right? So you can do whatever the hell you want. Exactly. <laughs> I can, I can, it's my gym. I can do what I want. And yeah, yeah just, yeah. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. So nothing totally set in stone yet, but I get it for sure. Again, kind of like the opening date. You just don't know yet until yeah. things start rolling. Okay. So tough question. Um, I know being a pretty serious training trainer and I've traveled to around to a lot of gyms. So in my opinion and a lot of other bodybuilders opinions, um, something that will make or break a gym for bodybuilders and people that are serious about training is leg equipment. Um, don't want just, Throwing it out there, letting you know if if there's a oh my god hi <laughs> if if the gym isn't you know up to par and with leg equipment it's it's not a gym yeah hundred percent right? like um, um, so you can have as much dumbbells as you want but if you don't got if you don't got the 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 toys right you're not gonna attract what well, you're gonna you're not gonna attract the people that you're probably wanting. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, what are you going to have for leg? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to, most gyms don't even have a hack squat and we're going to have two. So nice. we're going to have the Atlantis nice. and the Arsenal hack squat. Oh, two different types. So they're probably slightly different from each other, I think. Yeah. With I know Fitness FX has the, Fitness FX has the um, Atlantis hack squat Atlantis and it's really one. smooth. Yep. And then the Arsenal is a little bit heavier. Um, so sick. a different feel. Oh, that's pretty sick. That's exciting. Yeah. You're you're winning already. Yeah, and then um, there's no gym in town that has a pendulum squat, so we're gonna have a pendulum squat. Nice. Oh man, Andy, have you used one of those? No, I haven't. I've never even seen one. I know in you person, can tell I've them on in videos. <laughs> you can tell. Yeah, I really you can, can tell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Any day, buddy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the pendulum squats are, it's my favorite. Like, yeah. Cool. And That's that, exciting. I know for the girls, a lot of girls have been wondering, you know, about the glutes. So I thought of you girls and we're going to have a, to start, we're going to have the arsenal um, hip thrust. And then eventually I'm going to get another one. And we're also going to have the glute isolator. So, you know, you got to hit those glutes uh, once in a while. Oh yeah, and sure. very important. Is this the? Uh, I don't know how to my screen is here. Is this the Atlantis hack squat? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited now. And, I've uh, used a real hack squat in forever. Yeah, no, it's. I've used it at Fitness FX and it's so smooth, but. Honestly, before before Phoenix FX, like I had never used a hack squat because, like I said, there's no hack squat in the city, right? So that's a, an advantage of mine. It's just different equipment and new equipment. That's awesome, yeah. Yeah, that's it's really exciting. Like some like shitty version of it, I think. Oh yeah, the weird one with the the pads on your shoulders yeah. and you're like kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that at all. Nah, it's it's really strange. Yeah. It's yeah, like, like a straight the up. Yeah, it's somewhat similar to the V squat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's sounding great. That's and of course, like we're gonna, we're gonna have our uh, leg extension, leg curl, and I got specifically those from Prime Fitness. Um, in my idea, in my mind, those are the best leg extension and leg curls on the market. Is from Prime. Uh, you can adjust the intensity, and I don't know if you're familiar with Prime, but essentially, there's three settings where. If you, I can't remember exactly, but one setting, uh, it's harder at the beginning. Another setting is harder at the end range of motion. So oh, nice. that's the only company that really this plays are... with the range of motion. Oh, uh, that's fun. This, instead of like going back and trying to throw bands on everything and try to get tension in certain areas, this will do it for you. 
Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Right. Like that. That and it looks cool if that's the one with the. Yeah, it's, it's going to be red and black like the other ones, but unfortunately right. on their, their website they, they didn't. It's have just it. the green. Oh, so you're keeping it the red and black, nice. Yeah. Josh, uh, Josh has never used a, a calf machine. Are you going to have something for calves? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Um, so most gyms usually I either just, have one or, one or the other. I just do um, donkey this... calf races. That's all. <laughs> I get the biggest yeah, so... guy to sit on me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. All right, no, about... sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, most most gyms only have either or the seated calf raise or the the um, standing calf raise, but yeah. I'm gonna have both just because people prefer one to the other. So why not have both? Uh, yeah, in case nice. one, one's taken. Okay. Yeah, I love it. Options awesome. like that's that's so good. And I don't know if you mentioned or not. How big is your facility? Yeah, Maybe so it's gonna be too. over sixteen thousand square feet. Ah, a lot of room to fill it with some great stuff. Yeah. But um, huge. as big as it sounds, it's already going to be uh, not, I wouldn't say tight, but you know, it's the way it's lay it, laid out. We actually have like a, an outside, 3,000 3, square feet of it is going to be like outside gym. Um, so that's a, another outside cool gym. feature. How is that going to work in the Maritimes? I mean, that's... Yeah. Um, well, so, basically... We'll we'll be open on the, the, that section. Will be open probably like from May to September, October, depending on the weather. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, like I always wanted to just take dumbbells, do the whole Ronnie thing, and just go for a, l a lunges outside in the parking lot. Right. That'd be cool. But the yeah. gyms that we work out at, yeah, we're not allowed to do that. But I would always wait, always want to do that. Take them for a walk. Yeah, so definitely a different uh, concept that, again, no gym has in yeah. the city. No, man. That sounds pretty sick. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, what are you guys doing for... Someone wants to know what your personal training is going to look like. Are you going to have any? Or are you guys going to be... Yeah, what's that like? So unlike uh, most corporate gyms where either you have to be a, an employee or they take a commission off of you, I'm simply going to charge rent each month so trainers can come and pay me rent. And then I give them access to the facility where they can create their own hours, their own prices uh, with their clients. I'm also going to have offices where they can sit down with their clients, have one-on-one -on -one time. Um, so. To me, it's it's beneficial for the trainers. I'm putting myself in their shoes. That's what I would want. I would just want, you know, pay rent and then do as you please. I think yeah. that's probably the smartest idea. That's, I've always, no, oh, go ahead. Do other gyms do that? Like, cause I've never heard of that before. Does any other gym do that that you know of? The only, well, where I got my idea from was a gym in Philly, right? So. Around here, I don't really know if any gyms does that, but I know like in the States, it's a little bit more popular. Okay. Now I Sounds think that, smart. yeah, it's a, I think there's one or two like gyms here that do it, but they're not, they're like, oh, how do you say like just personal training only gyms. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Right. They're, uh, but nothing like, nothing like a larger gym here does that. Yeah, no, that's a great idea. Another one, another good one. Uh, let's keep going through these questions. Um, all right, so you have your gym, and then you have like probably a few other gyms around you that you're going to be competing with. What do you think? Um, something that sets you apart from everybody else. Uh, besides the awesome equipment and the outside training and the personal training and the juice bar, <laughs> what else? <laughs> like that's for sure. So equipment is an obvious one. Um, yeah. But the two other main points I would say is the posing room for sure. Um, yeah. Against nothing like that around here. And the third one, it would just be like the vibe and the, the community sense that I want to bring uh, again, 
not trying to tease on corporate gyms, but you know, it's, I, I like going to the gym, but I don't like the gym itself. If you, if you know what I mean, um, nobody talks to each other. It's just, it's very plain boring where I want people to know each other, talk to each other, have, you know, great music bumping and just have a great atmosphere. So I think those three components uh, can play a, a good factor in making myself stand apart. I like it. Uh, that brings up a question. Um, music. That's a huge one. Are we going to be wearing headphones in there or are we going to be like listening to your, hopefully listening to what you're putting through? Well, it's a little hard because not everybody has the same music taste, but True. Um, I think, you know, it'll be, well, in my, in my mind, it's going to be, you know, good music. Uh, I'm not going to blast it, but it's definitely going to be loud enough where you don't have to wear your headphones if you want or don't want. But if you want to listen to your own music, it's not going to stop you from that. And, and I have even thought something really unique would maybe be like once a month, have like a DJ come in like that on a Friday cool. night, that'd be something cool to have. Yeah. That Hell would yeah. be DJ, have a DJ and give, given, um, Oh, like pre-workout shots to people shots 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 yeah, yeah. Get some crazy lights going yeah <laughs> i'm in yeah i love it that's that, that that's a great idea again um say vision board what what do you have any like ideas for like you know five years ten years out what uh what do you yeah, what's that look like, the future to you? Um, so for five years, it's just, you know, growing the gym, getting the word out there and growing uh, as a community. I really want to get involved in the community with the schools and sports teams and just growing, get the word out there. Um, but the bigger picture in 10 years is I want to build my dream gym, probably around 30,000 square feet. Um, I'm basing my idea yeah. from a gym in Texas. Um with probably like 200 pieces of equipment and other companies. So Panada from Italy, Gemlico in Sweden, uh, Rogers Pendulum and get oh, some old man. school it's like um, drooling here. So. Yeah. get some old school <laughs> Nautilus pieces. So there, there's definitely a, a bigger picture in 10 years that I, I don't want to talk too much about because I know people are going to start asking me questions and you know, it's down the road, but there, right. I want people to know that there is a 2.0 coming uh, in the future cool and yeah that's really exciting and i love i love the idea of like your community-based um gym as well like we have here a pretty good pretty strong fitness community and i would say most of the, or the majority of people are um at fx fitness fx if if they don't train there often we we still go there every now and then and you know, pay for a day pass or we all have like punch passes and we just go train and just hang out for a little bit. If um, like, I don't personally have a membership there, but I'm friends with Sean, the owner, and it's great. I just live quite far away and I can't. So it's just, it's just hard to sometimes, but every now and then I'll, I'll take the drive up. I'll take the, what is it like, I don't know, 40 minute drive to go and train legs there or train back because they have like just fantastic stuff too. So having that gym community would be, is amazing because I know a lot of us here in Halifax travel to Moncton quite often, especially for shows. You know, we have seminars that you, that get put on from the CPA and shows as in bodybuilding shows, fitness shows. And it'd be great for us to have a place to go train. Right. Um, and to be welcome there and kind of bring that same community and feel like you're home. Like if you leave Halifax, we go to another place and it feels comfortable and feels like home. And that's like, that's going to be amazing. And I'm really excited for that. Yeah. And, and I, I think like a lot of, well, I know a lot of people from around here, um, drive to fitness effects for the weekend, right. And get yeah. a day pass and train because it's such a good facility. And I, that's what I want. That's the goal is, People from, you know, Fredericton, St. John, Halifax, PI come here once in a while and train. And, and especially when there is shows and seminars, like you don't have to struggle to not get into a good gym because like, let's say good life, they don't really 
give out uh, day passes, but with my gym, you know, you'll be able to get a day pass or a punch pass when you're in town. So it'll make life a little easier for those people. Yeah, no, that's, that's awesome. yeah, that is pretty, that is pretty great. So yeah, and it just, you know, sense of community again, right? Uh, camaraderie and iron as the, as mutant likes to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, is it okay if I ask uh, roughly how much you're going to be charging for a membership? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, it's a little like the hours. I'm not going to say a set price. Um, it's it's that's one of the biggest struggles I've had with the gym is um, with membership price because you know I don't know exactly how many members I'm going to get. I could get 250 or I could get a thousand in the first year, right? So I can't self my sell myself short. I can not only also, um, you know, charge like 100, 150. So it's a, a tough place to play, but it's it's not going to be like, it's, for me, I say it's going to be worth it, um, especially if you're serious about lifting. It's not going to be super crazy, but it's to me, it's going to be worth it. Um, roughly, roughly, I can give you an idea, probably 80 bucks a month. I have to give you an idea. That's reasonable. Yeah. That's reasonable, especially like uh, other right. other gyms are paying like thirty to forty biweekly, right? Yeah. So yeah. that's pretty much that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have your you have your fit for lesses and the the purple gym there, and I yeah. know they are next to nothing for their memberships, but but you like you said, get that as well. Is absolutely packed, and they're not meant for for guys like us. So yeah, exactly yeah so you know that's fantastic um a couple other questions um obviously in the posing room i know a lot of gyms here now uh for females there's no place for the pose and if they want to pose or, or practice uh they they're not allowed wearing heels like you can't go into a studio and walk around. the girls can't go into a studio and walk around in their heels Okay. Can we, can we do that in the posing room? Yeah, for sure. Um, girls can wear their heels. You know, it's good practice for the shows. Um, yeah. And we're gonna have tripods, so you know, if you want to film yourself, pose yourself with a tripod with a friend, more than welcome to. And and for me, it's you know, it's great advertising. So it's a it's a win win. I, I feel like. Right. So how many uh, square feet do you have available for your posing room? Posing room, if I remember correctly, is about. 12 by 30. Um, oh, that's good. I'm not good with quick math, but yeah, you can calculate what that is. Yeah, uh, pretty big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a bunch. That's how it goes. Yeah. More than I thought. That's great. No, I definitely wanted, you know, a, a comfortable space where um, it, you can have like at least three to four people there let's say you have a group of friend or you know yeah. instead of being uh, limited to one person uh, and being crammed i feel like kind of going with the pure muscle i don't know if you've ever seen or been into the their posing room i've seen, seen photos yeah, yeah we've seen yeah photos. so it's basically going to be similar to theirs perfect nice, nice. Are, you, are you allowing tripods on the gym floor that's a tough question. Um, I think to begin with, it's going to be a lot of policing and and seeing uh, day by day how it goes because I want to protect the members, um, you know, rights and not everybody wants to be filmed. But also, I know a lot of people want to film themselves working out to see their progress or to see their form. Um, so it's a tough one to play with. But as for me, as long as members feel comfortable that's the biggest thing so so we'll have to to see how that goes to to answer that question you know fair fair enough makes sense and like i do think it has its pros and cons like i think people kind of overdo it a little bit with the tripods you don't need to freaking record every single set or you don't need yeah. to record yourself on a treadmill for fuck's sakes right <laughs> <laughs> but they do but maybe like you know Yes, I get recording for form is really important. Uh, it's 
technology we have, why not use it? It's going to make us better. But when you're just doing some silly, like some exercises that just, you know, don't require a lot of technical skill. Yeah. I don't see the uh, heck of a lot of purpose, especially if, if that tripod or camera is getting in other people's way, it's just, yeah, unnecessary. But on the other hand, it's free advertisement. So that's awesome. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so that, that's why it's a, it's a tough, it's a tough decision because obviously free advertisement, but again, the, um, some people can get pretty annoying with their tripods. Um, for me, you know, I always tell like, you know, you can record yourself like here and there, but like you said, you don't need to, to record your whole workout. Yeah. Um, so if people want to find you, where do they go and how do they find this gym? Yeah, so we're on Instagram and Facebook. You can just search East Coast Iron, and it should be one of the first pop-ups. And I'm I'm very active on social media, so if you guys have any questions that I didn't answer, you can leave a, a DM. Uh, I rep- respond pretty quickly. And uh, every Monday and two Monday and Friday, I do equipment teasers leading up to the grand opening and. Nice doing some giveaways uh, in the next few months and just keeping you guys updated. So Instagram is definitely the place to, to follow us if you want to keep, uh, keep in the loop. Excellent. Perfect. Let me see if I'm going to put us to, where's, where are you at here? Yeah, so there it is. I'm just going to pull your page up. So yeah, so this here, can you see that? Yeah, cool. Yeah, so no. Nope. Yeah, so right now, a couple posts. Are we going to see any more a lot more activity coming soon? Uh, or we're going to ter- you're you're driving people to like the the stories here and the like the abodas and legs and chest and all that. Yeah, so I'm I'm trying to keep the the Instagram page pretty clean and professional so there's not going to be tons of posts. Um Right now it's more like stories, like you said. Um, but once it's hard because like I don't have a physical space where I can show the space and the equipment, so that's why right. I don't want to do like 20 posts before we're even open. But as we get closer, then you know the posts will start rolling in and people will get makes to sense. see more of it. All right. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Cool. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, man. We're really, yeah, really excited. And I know I've had uh, a few people DM me before the, we've even chatted for the first time asking about a gym. And I was like, there's a what now? And I, I had to go on and look at it. I was like, holy crap, there is like this. And actually I started learning more about it and got more excited. And now I'm even more excited. So did you say there's going to be a protein shake bar? Yes, yeah, we're going to have a a protein shake smoothie bar, um, and we're actually going to be partnering up with a local business called the Vibe Juicery. Um, So they're going to be in the gym, and they're going to be serving smoothies and uh, juices and healthy snacks and bowls. And then, like I said, you can just hop in the lounge and eat your your bowls or your smoothies and just chill with your friends. Nice. Just call it the juice bar get on the juice let's just yeah right there right it's like yeah that's behind the bar yeah <laughs> right <That's> yeah <laughs> that bowl that you talked about <laughs> awesome man yeah dude that's you yeah, we're really excited here on the east coast and i think you're going to bring something fantastic and um Congratulations, dude. Like, this is huge. This is huge for everybody, huge for you. And uh, you must be feeling pretty stoked, eh? Yeah. Right now, it's it's more stressful just because we're dealing, I'm dealing with the city and the architect uh, getting all the permits and getting all everything to code. But in the next two months, excitement will start rolling in once okay. uh, I have more, uh, like, an I get into the building for real and in June, but yeah, thank you guys, um, you know, for the support, everybody that's been supporting me from day one or recently, it means a lot. Um, you know, every like, every share comment, anytime somebody 
speaks about the gym or I hear somebody speak about the gym, it, it means a lot because not only local businesses, um, it's a little harder and smaller business, it's a little harder, but um, yeah, it just it means a lot. And I just want to thank everybody and thank you guys for having me on the show. Yeah, man, you're welcome. Or thank you for coming on too. Uh, before we go, I just want to remind everyone to give us a like, and share, and comment below. Like, comment and leave and tell us what you're excited about about this gym. Tell us what you want in this gym coming up. You know, suggestions are great. We want to know, you know, uh, what you're hoping to see, what you're hoping to have, what you know, and um, just uh, reach out and just say. Th Thanks for opening this freaking gym that everybody needs. So leave comments, like, share, subscribe, and um, hit that bell button. Andy, do you want to do the the, the thing? Yeah, right there. Right. There. Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, close. That's for. <laughs> we'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Patrick, very much for coming on, man. It was, it was a pleasure. We're really excited, and I I'm looking forward to meeting you in person soon. Yes. Josh, yes well, is, uh, Josh is especially excited to try out his very first calf machine. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll make sure he trains that. Yeah. End conversation. Where's the button? <laughs> <laughs>